Well, doctors say one of the most stressing situations is having a hospital full of patients and an empty refrigerator mm. without any blood. Yeah, someone needs uh, blood every two seconds in the United States. That number is just incredible. Its availability can be the difference between life and death. But blood is only available thanks to those who roll up the sleeves. There are some easy ways to do this. One of those spots, LifeShare Blood Center, where our Kelly Hubbard is this morning. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Matt, in the LifeShare Blood Center is looking to replenish the supply after last week's round of severe winter weather. And we saw many people, first responders on the front lines, responding to all of the severe weather situations, including Justin Hill with the Baton Rouge Fire Department. Good morning to you. What are some of the things that you've noticed and the importance that you've seen that blood has had on these people? All right. So everything from car wrecks to medical emergencies like heart attacks and burn patients, you know, unfortunately, we had somebody that that received second and third degree burns in a house fire last week, but all these people can benefit from those do blood donations. So very important for us as a community to come together and donate that blood. You know, many a times we have residents that are bystanders on emergencies wondering what they can do to help. This is one big way that they can help is by getting out and donating blood. And we talked about it at 532. It really doesn't take a whole lot of time. There are some requirements and a questionnaire uh, that you're able to do, but about seven minutes. And then if you want to do the other machine, it's about double that time. So 15 minutes or so. But kind of as we move forward here into the, the rest of the winter season, I guess, what would you say to folks on the other side of the TV screen, uh, just making the time to come out today? the doors open at 9 a.m. You know, we just came through the holiday season, you know, the spirit of giving. This is another way that we can continue on with that spirit of giving, you know, just give back by giving blood. You know, it doesn't take, like you said, that much time. So get out there, make that commitment and go out and get some blood. Thanks so much for that, Justin, coming out this morning. And we also have our Brandon Shackelford behind the camera. He just took his questionnaire and he's going to be donating. The f He's going to be the first person donating today. So we'll check in with him at 630. Guys. Huh? Brando, roll wow. up. Love that. Love Always it. donating blood. Yeah. Be like Brandon. Be hey, like Brandon. We're getting close.